we offer the city is swimming programs here at Crompton Pool so that kids can learn how to swim safely and develop skills that they can utilize for the rest of their lives. Once we get stretched out and the bodies are limber enough to be in the water, we get them in the water and get them on the wall and then start to emphasize what the safety precautions are before you get in the water. What we emphasize and try to bring home is you need to have somebody in the wa uh, watching you at all times, a water safety instructor, a lifeguard, or a parent. And the kids really take that to heart and I make sure to emphasize that every single day with the swimming lessons. This is a great program. I love that it's all in one week. They're getting lots of time in the water. I think it's personally better than the private program. Private programs are usually half an hour, once a week. So by the time they're coming in for their next lessons, they're forgetting the stuff. But here, they're here Monday through Friday, once in, I mean one whole hour, five hours in one week. So it's wonderful. We've been coming to lessons now three weeks and she's swimming across the pool. She's like a pro now. The progressions have been fantastic. Um, we have a lot of kids that are returning from the last couple of weeks. Um, not so much as newbies, but returnees, which is fantastic. We have 12 right now, which is our uh, all-time high for the swimming lasses throughout the month. A couple of the returnees are way more proficient than others, which is a great thing because then we use them as demonstrators, and then they get to use themselves as role, role models for the younger ones, and they learn from their peers. My five-year-old is in swimming lessons here. He's doing so wonderful because before he was afraid of the water, even in the bathtub. It teaches them to have confidence in the water. He's very confident now. My kids definitely feel more confident in the water and I can see that with them playing with other kids and just, you know, having confidence to swim across the pool. It's summer, so the water's good. The kids are enjoying the lessons. It's a small size, so they're getting lots of attention from the lifeguards. There's no better feeling for a teacher, a lifeguard, um, in this field than seeing a kid smile after they finally achieve what they've been working on all week. So what we have them do is uh, a field day, if you will, on Fridays where we go over all of the exercises that we worked on for the week. Um, and when those kids actually finish those tasks, there's no better feeling than seeing them smile and their sense of achievement. Um, and then what they get is to go down the slide over here. So they work as hard as they can so that they can go down that slide. It's a big reward for them to go down that slide. So they do everything that they can. The staff is so wonderful with the kids. My kids love coming and seeing them. And you know, the staff is always excited to work with them. You can't um, put a price on your kid's safety. And I think that this is one of those things that children have to learn how to swim. It's not for just recreation. It's, some, it's a life lesson that they need to learn. The kids learn a lot. Within one week or two weeks, they, are, they will be swimming by themselves. I hardly recommend them to bring their kids because the stuff around here is amazing. It's worth the money. It is really worth it. It's not like a, something that they're going to forget about it. They always will remember how to swim. I can learn new things that they can do in the water. All I've done was swimming and kicking with my arms bent and my, my hands straight. We've learned how to stroke and float on our backs and our stomachs. I learned um, how, how backstroke, um, some um, streamlining, and some floating. I learned kicking. Um, I want to keep it a secret. So to the parents who, who are on the fence bringing their kids to our swimming lessons or any swimming lessons in general, I highly recommend it. Um, it's unfortunate that in today's society not a lot of people know how to swim, even parents, adults, they're too embarrassed to learn. Um, I think it's a lot smarter to get yourself in the water, be more open, learn from somebody in terms of learning the water safety, the, uh, the proper tasks and how to become proficient at swimming. Um, in terms of taking water safety classes slash swimming lessons, I highly recommend it. Um, while ours is $50 to take the program, there are free swim lessons offered throughout the city of Worcester. Bennett Field, I know, offers them Vernon, uh, Vernon Pool. Those are all state-run programs. The only reason why we charge is because we have lifeguards on duty the entire time, and we want to make sure that we have enough lifeguards for the set amount of kids. So what I usually do is recommend a lifeguard to three to four kids each group, 
so that they're getting that one-on-one -on -one time and really developing those skills that they need to, in order to be able to swim proficiently and on their own while somebody's watching them outside of the water. I believe there is definitely a value in terms of having that extra half hour um, so that we can emphasize stretching before getting in the water so that your muscles are loose. That obviously takes 10 to 15 minutes depending on the size of the class. And then getting in the water, going over the safety precautions, and then getting in your water exercises, your bobs, your back floats, your kicks. Getting those guys ready to swim in itself takes about 20 to 30 minutes. So if you're only having a half hour of a swim lesson, they're not really utilizing the entire time getting them prepared to learn how to swim. Um, with this, this program here at Crompton, we take that first 20, 30 minutes, get them prepared for the lesson, and then that last half hour we really emphasize certain cues um, that they can learn in order to become proficient at swimming.